Here we have this uh, product. It's a main display port to display port 1x3 MST hub. Splitter hub, depending on you say it. Now, the, model, the part number for this is the R06N-MST-103-P. So here you have, we have the pigtail, main display port pigtail. And then we have the three display port outputs. And then, as well as, you also require power here. So that is, that's what that is. So, with this, there's a structure requirement you require to use this. First of all, you need a DisplayPort 1.2 MST compatible video card. And we have the specs listed all on our spec sheets. Additionally, um, there's some other stuff that has to be made sure of. Now, because of bandwidth concerns, you can't use long cables. The max we set to is 15 feet, and that is with 28 gauge cables. And with all our products right now, we only we test with our own TNT DisplayPort cables, which we know is that's that we make to 28 gauge. So that's what I'm using here. I'm I'll be I'll be using all TNT cables. Now with other manufacturers, you might not have the same quality as the paper cables, and that might cause concerns. But with my setup, I'm using all TNT cables, so I could guarantee, we could guarantee that will work. So let me start connecting everything. Now first, let me connect my monitors. So before I introduce it, I will be using three different monitors. So if you look over here, let me show you my monitors. I have one 4K TV. I have, then I have two monitors here. Now, how many monitors you use and the combination of monitors really factor into the, the is a factor because of the bandwidth issues. And I'll show you that when I connect everything. That's our connection. So let me connect right, connect it right now. So here, let me connect my monitors. You mostly connect to most, you can connect to most any port, but I would suggest the highest resolution monitor you connect to this, the DP1 input. Or output. Good, that connected. You put everything in, my power on, and then plug it into my computer. Now, you want to be careful of using adapters. That might cause signal loss. So you have to just be worried about that. And here you see my monitors all display up. So, you need to identify all these. So here you see the numbers coming out, all the fight. Let me do it, show you again. So, now that the big TV, the big TV right now is using a, uh, it's running 4K. The little ones are, this one is the little one is using 19, it's by running 1920 by 1080, and then the middle one is running 1920 by 1200. Now, I previously mentioned bandwidth issues. So if I open my, show you my bandwidth issues here. So just so happens, I'm already using 95% of my bandwidth. If I use, if I switch out a monitor for something else, for another 4K, it will completely not work anymore because I've already, already overshoot the bandwidth I'm allowed. So 4K, you're already looking around close to 40, a little bit over 40% of your bandwidth, of the available bandwidth. And that's based off the 22, 20 gigabits. So that's what you use in 20, almost 40%. The rest two, the other two are using close to 30s. So that's how you add it up. If you go over, it will not work. So here you can see three wonders coming out. And basically that's what this unit does. It allows you to connect three mon three up to three monitors to our to a computer that has this big port output. Thank you.